Good morning. You know that um, this is Cam Parker, and I know no one's on yet, unless you're sitting right there next to your phone looking at Facebook. I just wanted to say hi, and I wanted to thank you for joining me for my workout this morning. Um, I really think at this point, it's so good for me to have this uh, obligation to work out with people. Hi, Sally. Uh, we're going to focus on shoulders and a little bit of posture work. But mostly it's a, you know, Mondays are going to be upper body as best I can do. I'm resisting the urge to grab some of my equipment. Hey, there's another Sally, Anna and Elizabeth. Hi, how are you? So you're going to do the workout with me. You need a gallon of water, which weighs about eight pounds. Now in your home, you may have weights. I have lots of equipment and I'm resisting the urge to use that equipment because I want to pick things that people definitely have. And uh, I'm going to keep doing this Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, then I'm going to gamify it every other week, meaning it'll be more goofy and more for little kids. Um, but as I've said each time, there's lots of material out there. Um, Gold's Gym backslash anywhere has two streaming opportunities, one smartphone and one streaming opportunity to do lots of fancy workouts. The difference with me is it's live and there's a dog and other noises and hopefully I wanted to be outside. So here's what's different. I went to my usual place outside and a bear had visited me last night and tore the trash out of the can. There was trash everywhere. And I, because I'm doing some uh, uh, weed control from the winter, uh, left a hose on that I'd used to safety a fire last night and so there was mud and trash and I'm like you know I think I'm gonna do this inside um, so there you go so that's the difference is you get to see cam in quarantine live doing workouts so what we're gonna do first remember soup cans uh, we're gonna warm up our shoulders Monday Wednesday Friday all right, Mondays will be upper body, Wednesdays will be mostly legs. There'll always be a mix. And then Friday, I'm not sure yet, but mostly core. Okay, here we go. Soup cans, or you can be pinto beans. Pinto beans, yeah. Okay. Pinto beans, whatever, two, as long as the cans are the same. All right. All right, and they don't have to match as far as cuisine goes. They can just match as far as whatever they are, you know. The weight, the weight of them. So, I just did a little, and everybody can do these because it's lightweight, and you don't need heavy weight with a shoulder warm-up. You want to stand up tall, pulling the belly in. I'm so glad everybody's here. You know, Wendy, make sure you're actually doing this with me. All right, now we're just going to swing our arms, twist these cans. This is a warm-up I've been using for years. I've recovered from two very serious shoulder injuries. And this is what I used, I'm talking years ago, well, let me think now, 15 years ago, uh, to, to rehabilitate my shoulder. And one mistake people make when they've had an injury and they get physical therapy or coaching on how to overcome it is when they feel better, they stop doing it. Well, I decided to use it to help prevent injury, and I've, I've put it to the test. So now do you see how I'm just just turning, see how this movement is? I turn the hand down turn like that yes and so this is pouring out I call this movement I'm pouring out and I'm not really counting yet this is a warm-up it's roughly 20 reps of everything remember exercise is not an exact science it is a science remember that you don't have to like it for it to work hey Sahana say hey Roy what's up everybody get ready going Greta, oh my gosh, that's one. Of, that's a famous bodybuilding instructor I know. Of course, she's laughing. Famous, she is at my gym. All right, so now we're gonna pour together like this. So I'm doing a shoulder warm up. Two cans of pinto beans. You're totally cool. You could use tomatoes. You could use peas. You could use soup. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. As long as they weigh the same. All right. And Greta, you kind of, if you're just jumping on, uh, I'm letting people know I have equipment. I mean, I've been a trainer a long time, but I'm resisting the urge to use equipment that people may not have. Just regular old equipment that you should, I hope you do have a couple cans of something in your house. Okay, now watch, we're gonna pour it out 
and raise it up, big sweep of the arms. So we're gonna pour out all the obstacles to us taking wonderful care of ourselves over the next days and weeks. This is an opportunity to take great care of ourselves. Um, I posted my push-ups, I did my push-ups and posted them late this morning where I'm having to integrate the reality of this situation and just focus on what you can do. Bon Jovi's talking about just do what you can do. There's a lot we can do. One more. We're going to pour out all the obstacles to thriving in this environment and celebrate our awesomeness. Okay, last one is right here. You can see where I'm holding the arms parallel and I just rock it. This is a pure rotator cuff movement. If any of, if you get sharp pain or tingling, tingling's not necessarily painful, you should stop. Maybe P, PM me so I can help you move through that. But remember, I can't see you, so I can't correct your form. You have to keep yourself safe. Hopefully that means you've been eating well, drinking lots of water, doing your best to sleep well. I know all those things can be challenging right now. All right, that's enough of that. Hopefully that burned there at the end. So we're going to put that down. Mm -mm -mm. And uh, first thing we're going to go over is push-ups. Do you mind getting me one more gallon of water? Okay, so I have a, I have a little bit of technical assistance. So push-ups. Let's talk about push-ups. So push-ups straight out like this. So imagine my hands are on a car or the floor. Some people use a wall. I don't like the wall too much because it tends to throw your arms up. I don't like the angle. Um, you, you might not be able to see it in the camera frame, but I do have an ottoman right here. So I'm up, right, higher than usual, right, which can make a push-up easier. Here's the edge of a couch chair. Just make sure whatever you're using, so this makes it easier, right? And then over here, you can't see it, but I have a dresser against the wall, or you might run to your kitchen counter. Everybody can do kitchen counter push-ups. It's totally legit. So what we're gonna to do today is a push-up called an in and out push-up. So my arms are wide, my head is neutral, or my chin's up a little bit. Yeah. And, why right, thank you. Oh, gallon of water into the frame. I only had one, I needed two. Okay, and remember gallons of water weigh eight pounds. You can always pour them out. Just make sure that your top is secure, otherwise we're gonna be showering this morning, okay. So my hands are out wide, and I'm gonna do one push-up. Then I'm gonna bring, without changing my plank position, I'm gonna bring my hands in. So let's see, let's see if I can demo that a little better. I promised myself I was gonna read more about this camera. Okay, that looks better. So this is out, right? All right, I'm gonna do a push-up, and I'm gonna bring my hands in. Woo, like that. That's your challenge. Now you can do that on the countertop. Okay, you ready? All right, gear it up. All right, we're gonna go right for it. In and out push-ups. We're gonna count the middle one to 10. Here we go. One. I know you. what you're thinking. You're thinking that's more than 10 push-ups. Yeah, it is. Two. Three. Four. You don't have to go all the way down. Keep your body tight. Remember that push-ups. I think that's six. You gotta count for me, okay? This doesn't have to be an exact number. Whoa. So keep your body tight. All right. I'm gonna call that eight. Woo! And one more for good luck. All right, hope you're doing this with me. If that was really, really tough, you're like, man, um, put your hands higher on something. Like, I have this part of my couch, which is higher, so I go wide, and I go in the middle, okay? What a lot of people do when they do push-ups is their arms are up here, and these are smaller muscles in the top. Push-up is a large chest muscle. And to hit that chest muscle, look at my hands, that's shoulder. See the difference? Right here. 
where the hands are in alignment with the larger muscles. So a lot of mistake people make. One reason I don't like the wall is it's hard to do a push-up on the wall and keep your hands in the right position. Hi, Fred. Hi, Christina. So listen, here's the thing that's going to be different about my Monday, Wednesday, Friday workouts than most things you watch. I'm a personal trainer, so I'm going to demonstrate, talk to you about form, and then you're going to do them. You can always go back and watch these, and uh, I'll always put my notes up so you can just do the workout and pace it a little faster. But remember, I'm geared towards beginners, seniors, and kids. So it's important that you learn as you do this. Because if you keep working out and no one's correcting your form, then you could get hurt or not get the, the, uh, the positive impact that you want. Okay, so, all right, so those are in and out push-ups. And then the next choice, you can use cans. Okay, so this is mainly for my seniors who are watching. You can sit down with the cans and go here and you can do a shoulder press, right? That's what you're gonna be doing, right? Now, if you're more advanced, you might say, well, and you look at everything I'm giving you, is you could do a, a double gallon, a two gallon shoulder press. That's eight in each hand. And also, what I've noticed is that water seems heavier than an eight pound weight. But the thing I want everybody else to do, and kids, kids are gonna put their hands on the floor, and maybe body pump instructors, and you're gonna do what's called a pike push-up. Okay, it's called a pike push-up. We're gonna do 12 of those, okay? Or you do what you can do. So remember, you're either gonna do 12 shoulder presses with the weight seated, or pike push-ups. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, please don't do those if you think you're gonna fall on your head. That's why you have the choice, right? Pick the one that's best for you. Okay, the next one is uh, plank or marching plank. Right, and remember the way I do this is we'll do about five exercises, four, three to four exercises, and then we'll repeat. So plank, the uh, re reason we're working on plank today is because upper body push-ups is holding plank. It's a moving plank, is a push-up. So we wanna be really good at holding plank. So plank, all right, my butt is tight, my abs are tight, and we're gonna do more advanced is a marching plank. Pick up one arm, pick up the other arm. So holding plank right now. And if you're just holding, I'm gonna count my marching and that's how much you're holding. Put your belly button in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, okay, good. You're doing very good. Don't just watch. Okay, so let's say, whoo, that was hard. Harder than you thought. Remember, just like a push-up, plank can be held on something lower. You have your chair. All right? Right here, holding it. I can even march from the chair. Okay? All right, now we're going to add a little cardio break break being a misnomer right now just keep picking this up and down okay i'll explain to you later why it's a break yeah yeah uh, okay step overs all right so i'm going to place that gallon of water as an obstacle okay and you're going to step over it and step over it you could use a dog you could use a person don't step on anything Here's the thing, what people do is when they step over, you'd be surprised, some people take the second foot and move it around the back of the obstacle. Don't do that, step over it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do this for a little bit, stepping over. I don't uh, normally play music, been listening to a lot of music my whole life, I do like to dance. Yes, stepping over that obstacle. Are you, here's the thing, pick up your toe, pick up your toe, pick up your toe. All right, it's 20 to 25 steps. It doesn't matter that much. It could be 30 seconds. It could be 45 seconds. 
Just hang out with me. Big step. Right now we're trying to get that heart rate up. If you uh, want to jump over it, you could. However, I don't like having obstacles that people are trying to jump over because you might hit the obstacle. So stepping is fine. Okay, we're going to do all that again. All right, here we go. We're doing in and out push-ups. I'm going to do mine elevated again. All right, elevated. Arms are wide. One. Two. Three, tighten your body, tighten your abs and your glutes, your butt muscles. How many is that? I'm gonna call it six. Might have skipped one there. Seven. Notice how my elbows go out a little more. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. So, believe me, if you're struggling with that, it is okay. Go to a kitchen counter. You might ask me, well, why not modify, right? Why not do where I'm on my knees and I do it this way? Here's the problem with that very traditional way of modifying a push-up is that they have not noticed that it makes people stronger. And so that means if you modify, you might always be modifying you. You might not ever progress. So if I know you're on the kitchen counter and that gets easy, then you go to the back of the couch, as long as the couch doesn't slide or move. Then once that gets easy, you can go to the, the arm part of the chair, of the couch. Then you can go maybe to chair, eventually on the floor. Yes. Okay, next one is plank. Nope. It's gonna be either shoulder press, or um, a pike push-up. So again, if you're shoulder pressing, you're sitting in a chair, very tall, plant your feet, hold your belly button in, shoulder pressing. Okay, that's what I want my seniors to do, and my beginners possibly. Kids and other people that are kid-like, you can have, be in this pike position, all right? Hang your head down, and it's a pike push-up. Here we go. We're going to do 12 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay. One of the challenges with at-home workouts is using your body weight, using the equipment you have. Pike push-up, same as a shoulder press, works the top of the shoulder, the shoulder cap. You gotta talk to your body, feel what you're doing. Next one is plank or marching plank. Plank is the same as with a push-up. If you're having trouble holding plank, then think about putting your hands higher. So I'm gonna be in a regular plank, body's very tight, strong, like board, like oak board. Here we go. You're holding it, everything's tight. We're gonna pick up those hands. One, two, three, four. Don't move your body. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Go in the 20, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job, bravo. So when I say hold your body tight, Belly button slightly in, glutes tight. That's what's gonna make your plank stronger. Also, you'll see some people hold plank where they're bowed up, right? If you're, I would say if you're over 60 holding plank, you should lift your glutes a little bit, take the pressure off your lower back. And hey, if you're a little kid and you go, mom, I, I feel that in my back. Same thing, a lot of people wanna bow like this on a plank. Nope, I would either be very straight or lift it a little bit and have your have this positioning neutral not so not pull back and not round it okay I'm getting out of breath I like that okay now we're gonna do the step overs here we go 
Step it over. Mm. Uh, uh. Come on. Step over with me. Keep stepping over. You can just do marching in place. It doesn't matter. It's not an exact science. It's a science of keep going. Keep moving. Step. Step. Now, I'm a stickler for this. If you're stepping over and you're swinging your foot behind the object, bad, bad. You've got to pick that toe up. Have you ever noticed as some people get older, they start tripping and falling and they don't know why? It's because they're dragging their feet or they're not lifting their toes. So lift your toe, lift your toe up towards your shin when you pick your feet up. Oh yeah, lift some more, lift some more, lift some more. Okay, all right, we're gonna do all that again. You ready? All right, we got this. We got this. Okay, Pam, Cynthia, don't just watch. You got to work out. Okay, these are in and out push-ups. I'm doing them elevated right here. You can do them on the ground. You can do them on your kitchen counter. Wide to middle. Keep your body tight. We're only doing 10. Of course, I know. That's 10 times 2. But shh. Okay, here we go. Out wide. And do one. Move your hands to the middle. Do another one. That's one. Okay, here we go. Two. And three. This is not, don't be in a hurry. Tighten your body. Four. Do another wide one. Do one with your hands closer. I think that's five. Did I lose count already? It happens. Okay, and six. And seven. Keep going, come on. And eight. Eight is great. Whoo, these are tough. Arms wide, last one. The hands close together. And ten. Okay. Next one. Pike push-ups. Take a deep breath. If you're a beginner or a senior, I want you doing gallon or soup can shoulder presses. Sitting nice and tall, pulling your belly button in. If you're advanced or a kid, you're going to do the pike push up. So my butt's way up, my head's hanging down. Here we go. One, two, we're going to do ten, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, I like that. Next one is going to be plank. Remember, if you're a beginner or a senior, you have the chair and you're in a plank. You can even march from the inclined plank. Everyone can do this. You don't have to march your arms, that's a choice. You can plank on the kitchen counter. You can plank on the couch. Just make sure whatever you put your hands on won't slide away from you. And that your back is either very straight or your butt slightly lifted. All right, here we go. Ooh, take a deep breath. All right, ready, hold plank. And we're marching those arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So the key there, I did that kind of fast, is moving with control. And what I was trying to adjust is you don't want your hips to be rocking back and forth. You want to Pretend you got a glass of water sitting right on the small of your back and you don't want to spill it. That connects your brain to all your muscles. The first level of strength, everyone, is your attitude. I can, I will, I'm gonna do this. Your second level is because of that I can, I will, I am uh, attitude, literally, that connects your nervous system which is a whole bunch of neurons in a chain 
to your muscles and then your muscles fire. What a lot of people don't know is that a muscle cell is on or off, zero or 100%, okay? And maybe we need to follow the philosophy of the muscle cell, be on at 100%, right? <sighs> okay, then because you're at 100%, you get more recruitment, meaning more cells show up for the activity. And because of that, you can do more vigorous activity or longer activity, depending on what it is time-wise and then when you're sleeping at night and you've drank plenty of water and you've eaten plenty of good protein and good vegetables and everything then your body gets stronger at night while you're sleeping that's one reason sleep is so important okay that's a water break no nope. yes we'll, we'll not do the step over do water 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 okay here we go it always helps make the uh, gallons lighter Okay, all right, so we're going to move on to the next grouping, okay? Here we go, let's put you back up here. Everybody doing good? Stay with me. Now, don't you be sitting on the couch, though you can watch this so you kind of know what's coming, and then you can't look. My hand glows in the sunlight. Whoa! Um, and then you can put on some good music, and you don't really necessarily need to listen to me, and uh, do this on your own at another time. Okay, this is called a balance row. So you have a chair, everyone has a chair. And normally, we've done these before, you would row by having this gallon of water and you row like that. If you're advanced and you're like, Cam, that's too easy, put two gallons in a bag. We did that the other day. Okay, so why is it called a balance row? So what we're gonna do is have right hand or the hand facing me, right? You're gonna pick up the gallon of water and I'm gonna make sure that I have good posture, just like a plank. I have a nice natural arch, my chest is out, I'm not bowed up, right? Then I'm gonna pick up my leg, see that back there? Can you see my, my, my shoe, right? And my toes pointed down, my standing leg is bent. I'm gonna pick up that gallon of water and I'm gonna row it. One, holding my body still. Two, we're going to 15. Three, four, five, six, shoulders are down. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, and 13. 14, move it smooth, 15. All right, you can always add, have two guns. I'm gonna switch sides. Put the right, and for me, it's my right hand down. See that leg straight back, natural arch. Pick up the gallon of water. There we go. One, two, three. Shoulders are out of your ears. Four, five, we're going to 15. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, one more, 15. Very good. So just like when you're holding plank, when you have one leg back, you want to lock that glute and have that toe pointing and you don't wanna, you wanna keep your hips level, okay? All right. Okay, more push-ups, isn't that nice? Okay, so, so we wanna use the back in conjunction with the push-up. There's hardly a substitute for the push-up being able to tone the back of your arms and, and, and lift and uh, make your chest bigger, more tone. Okay, so if I'm doing a push-up, now this one I do, it is okay to modify because we are focused on our back muscles. So I think I'm gonna bring you down here so you can see me a little better. How you doing, Jenna? Thanks for watching. Make sure you're not just watching. I've always said they need a button that says, I am actually working out, okay? But I know, okay, so here we go. So think about a modified, let me demonstrate before you try it, okay? So if I'm modified push-up, 
which is make sure my body is straight. This is not modified. Butts down, but the, and I'm gonna do one push up, and then I'm gonna turn and pull that arm back and look at my thumb up here. Now I'm gonna put it down, do another one, turn and look at my thumb. So we're just gonna do 10 of those. I'm gonna do it from a push up position. So I do one push up, then I turn. Now if you can't do that push up and turn, just turn. Two. Three. Four. Remember you can do this on your couch back or your kitchen counter. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, one more, ten. Okay, now I know what just happened. A lot of my seniors were like, what are you doing? I can't do that. Okay, so let's think about this. I'm a beginner or a senior, and I've got a couch, all right? So I'm on the incline of a push-up. And then as long as my hand, I can do that. See, this is quite a bit easier to do, hopefully, all right? Pulling those arms back, okay? All right, you can do this. Do it with me, okay. All right, so next is a boat pose. Boat pose. And if you didn't catch me at the beginning, I was gonna do this outside because I like the bird sounds and being outside. But a bear had visited this morning or sometime during the night and I have a big mess to clean up out there. So we'll see you out there on Wednesday. All right, so boat pose everyone is you're on a, a mat or a chair. You can do it on a chair. Just make sure you cushion your tailbone, right? And you just lean back like this and you balance and you just hold it. Now this, uh, all you yogis out there, I love yoga. So there is a much more fancier way to do this where your legs are straight, but I'm, I'm for beginners and kids. So you're a boat, like a motorboat. And if this hurts your back, just set your heels down and you'll notice your back will ease off, I hope. And the reason why is because when I'm like this, I have to squeeze my abs really tight. And if I don't squeeze my abs really tight, my hip flexors, which is what it, are the muscles that are holding up my legs, get tired and they pull on my back. So you wanna crunch your abs when you're doing this. Just keep holding. It should not be pleasant. It should be unpleasant. That's right. My clients always say suffer. Suffer, suffers can be a good thing. All right, a little bit more. Let's count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. That was really good. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna do a agility cardio burst, okay? So the idea when I was outside and, and writing this last night was called run the square. Okay, so we're gonna walk the square because we're indoors. So you just think of a square on the ground and like if you have a square mat, I mean, you could do the rectangle, it's fine, okay? But the main thing is you go to the square, back up a little bit here, and then take a step forward. Now this, we're doing this for uh, part of fitness is agility. Agility is coordination. All right, here we go. We're gonna run the square or walk it because we're indoors now. Da, da, da. Back up a couple, over three, up two. Da, 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 da. Do the square, make sure it's a square. Make sure it's not a blob. It can be a rectangle. Mm. Da, da. Now we're gonna reverse, blah, blah, blah. Back up to the side. Come forward, side, back up, to the side, come forward, oh, reverse, oh, reverse, here we go, I mean, reverse once. It doesn't matter which way you're going now, keep going, around the square, around the square. Can you go around the square? A square of the round, no, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, reverse again, up, sideways, back, sideways, up, okay, that's enough of that. Good job, okay, we're gonna go back to our balance rows. 
to get the chair. All right, take a deep breath. Get a sip of water if you need it. All right. So, oh, I need that. I need it for more than drinking. All right, so I have my, in my case, the, the hand that's on the chair, that's the side of the leg you're gonna pick up. Standing leg is soft. Toe is pointed to the ground. Hips are level. Chest is out. Belly button slightly tucked in. Yes, pick up that gallon. Here we go, 15, one, two, three, four. If you're more advanced, get a bigger weight. Five, six, seven. Everybody can do this. Eight, nine, everybody. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, one more, 15, good. Control it on the way up and the way down. Don't just let it fall down. Stay engaged, keep the shoulders down. Switch in sides. All right, hands on the chair. That side leg is lifted. Standing leg is soft, good posture. Belly button pulled in, chest out, and rowing. One, two, waking up the back of our body. Three, don't be sitting all the time. Four, it's not good for you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good job. Okay, next one is the push up to side plank. So let me show the beginner way to do it from a chair. You do not have to do the push up. That might be too tough. You might be uh, someone, you know who you are, that you're doing the best you can under the circumstances, right? Got shoulder issues. So you hold plank and then watch. As long as this chair is solid and won't move, I can pick up like that. Everybody can do this. Pick up, right? Let's just say, no, I cannot do that. Hands together, moving apart like that. Moving apart. We're gonna visit that later on. So let's say you have the two cans and you just can't do what I'm showing, that plank movement. You're bent over and you're gonna do one side then the other side, okay? One side, then the other side. Those are alternatives for my seniors and my beginners. Okay, so the rest of us, kids and parents, right, is gonna be that push-up to the side plank. You do not have to do the push-up, okay? So I'm gonna do the first one without the push-up. Here we go. One, two, now I'm gonna add the push-up. Three. Four. Don't take your time. Five, keep your abs tight. Six, going to 10. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Good job. Bravo. Bravo. You can do this. This is about doing it. Barb, you better be watching, not just watching, better be working out. Okay. Next one is the boat pose, right? Boat pose. So you're on your butt. Sorry for shaking the camera. Like this. So you sit down like this. Hold your feet up, squeeze your belly. If you feel it in your back, you're gonna touch your uh, heels to the ground. Hi, Darby, how are you? How are you? I know, I know, I love you too. Okay, okay, I appreciate it. Okay, yes, you're very sweet. Yes, this is very exciting. Holding butt pose. Feel it in your back, touch this down. If you touch 
your legs. It's not as good for you. That takes away a lot of the muscles we're trying to work at. So I would rather you just touch your heels down than have to grab your legs. But if you have to, you have to, because this does work on balance and uh, proprioception, which is your brain connected to your body. Yes, we're still holding boat pose. Yes, we are. We're in a speedboat. It's purple, sparkly, fast, and down. Good job. Okay, so now we're gonna run the square. Run the square, run the square. Oh, my hair's a mess. Oh, okay, is your hair a mess? Oh, anybody else forgetting the shower? All right, shower at least once a day, everybody. Take a bath. All right, here we go. You ready? Mm, this way, then back up, then go this way, and then go forward, and then the side, and then back up. And then over here, and then up here, okay? And then over here, back up, go the other way. Here we go, up, and up. Now we're gonna reverse, back this way, back this way. Now if we were outside, we could run the square, but you're inside. Please do not work out next to glass top coffee tables. Don't do that, don't trip over anything. No, 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 up. You gotta go sideways, sideways, very important for you. Reverse direction, again, yes. Yes, step up, reverse direction, step back. Okay, that's good, that's good. You're doing really, really good. Hi, Sally, I'm so glad you're here. You better be doing this with me, you're not just watching, no, she says she goes, I'm here, which I think she means she's working out. All right, and just so everybody knows, Sally, she hates, I'll have to find out what year she was born, but she's she's been around the planet a few times. Okay, here we go. Um, one more time. Okay, so the first thing we did was the balance row. I'm gonna go to 15, get a sip of water, third time's the charm. We're actually almost done with this workout. I got two bonus moves uh, right after we finish this third round of this particular set of exercises. I'm here, belly pulled in, chest out, good arch in my back, one, Two, three, four, lift that elbow high. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Control on the way down. Fourteen and fifteen. Switching sides. Here we go. We're on the home stretch here. Stay with me. Stay focused. Right? Lift the leg that's the same side as the hand that's on the chair. Good posture. Ear, uh, shoulders out of your ears. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. All right. Push up to side plank. All right. I'm going to show beginner first. Right? I'm in plank. No push up. Good beginner's way of doing it. Okay, here we go. We're going to do 10 of these. All right. I'll do the first one without the push-up so you can see what it looks like. One. The first two of them. Two. Now I'm going to add the push-up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're gonna do boat pose. Woo! Boat pose. Yes, yes. Boat pose. So we're like this. I'm gonna show you how to advance it. You can do this, or your heels are down. Even if your heels are down, if you can, you can turn 
this eight pound gallon of water side to side, right? Or go from boat pose. If that bothers your back, please don't do that. You can also make it more challenging by raising the gallon of water up and down, like this, squeezing the abs as tight as you can. Yes. Oh yeah, keep going, keep going. You do a combo, side to side, and up, side to side, and up. Yes, or you can just be like, forget this noise, I'm not doing it. No, don't be like that. Don't be like that. Hold your boat pose. If you're feeling your back, squeeze your abs tighter. Heels down, we're almost done. 10 more seconds, you ready? Okay, let me, uh, uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, a three, a two, a one, you're done. Bravo, bravo, bravo. The crowd goes wild. It's going crazy. Yes. All right. Now we're going to run the square. Run the square. We're up. We're up. I'm going to get down in the camera. We're going over to the side. We're backing up. We're going this way. We're going forward. We're back. Here you go. Here you go. This is very important for your brain. Very important for your brain. Little steps back. Little steps over, little steps up, little steps to the side, little steps back, little step, oh, reverse direction, ooh, here you go, here you go, here you go, all right, all right, backing up, side, little steps forward, make a square, don't make a blob, make a square, one more, here we go, reverse, reverse, oh, up, oh, you didn't know what I was going to do, did you, did you, okay, all right, we're going, we're good, we're good, okay, so, um, balance, bonus, right? So we're almost done with this workout. I'm just going to show you a couple of things to practice. Hi, Kenny. Uh, okay, so you're like this. So you're going to stand on one leg. And what I want you to do, we're going to be calming down now, is bend this leg that you're standing on and touch your knee. Right? This leg's up. I realize I have black pants on hopefully you can see me just fine just keep your chest up come down touch that knee come back up one leg only now advance would be come down lower can you touch your toe and come back up Woo! yes there we go let's do four of those here we go wherever you can touch okay that's two three one more and four, so I want you to practice in those. You'll notice that your calf might start burning. Be in touch with your feet. Your feet and your toes are very important. No, don't neglect them. Say hello to them, massage them. I love you feet. I love you toes. I love my knees. Okay, here we go. Touch your knee, come back up, or touch your toes. Here we go, let's do four of these. One, right, keep your chest out. Two, three, oh, oh. one more, and four. So that's your bonus balance exercise. And then I want you to think about a posture one, and we're going to finish with this, and then we'll cool down. Thank you for joining me today. Really appreciate it. Okay, we're like this, and you're going to bring them back like that. And at the same time, I'm going to bring my chin back. So we're going to just do 10 of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So a lot of us are sitting and doing a lot of computer work and things. So I just want you to remember that you want to pay attention to whether your head is starting to present forward of your body. And so you can pull your chin back like that. So when I'm doing this, I'm pulling my chin back and trying to activate the muscles that are between my shoulder blades and on the back of my neck. Thank you for joining me. So let's uh, cool it down a little bit, right? I have no idea what time it is, and it's 20 minutes after nine. the question is, does it really matter? Thank you. Thank you for telling me.
Remember, when I first come on live, I'm going to give people a chance to jump on. But try to be here at 8.30, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And this is for people that really want to work out with me. It's going to be about a 30 to 40 minute workout with, uh, with some talking. and Because I need people in my life and hopefully I'm helping you. Right? And we're going to roll those shoulders around. Roll them around. Okay. Thanks for joining me. Go the other direction. Okay. Now we're going to stand nice and tall. Sally, I'm talking to you. Stand nice and tall. Bring your shoulders up. <sighs> Let's do that again. <sighs> One more time. <sighs> Excellent. Excellent. I hope you have a great day. You take really loving good care of yourself. And I'll see you on Wednesday morning. I love you.